Hey everybody, it's Ross. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about pinching. We're going to be going around to all the trees today and pinching whatever is not. We're going to pinch all the branches on the fig trees that have not yet been pinched or have not yet formed fruits. So if they have not been pinched, but they are forming fruits along the branches, then I probably will make a judgment call and say, will I not or will I pinch? And I would say in most situations, if it already has fruit on it, um, I won't be pinching. Uh, but today is the 22nd of June, and what this means to me is mathematically, um, 90 days after we pinch, and actually it could be anywhere from 70, as early as 70 days after we pinch, we'll get ripe fruits. Now, it, on average, it's around 90 days. I also have varieties that take up to 120 days. So. You can really see opposite ends of the spectrum and it depends on what variety you have, but let's say I have a variety that on average, because most of them take 90 days after I take off the tip. If it takes 90 days um, and we're at June 22nd, let's say we're at July 1st. I mean, that's usually the last date that I do my pinching, but if it is July 1st, um, fast forward 90 days from there, you're gonna be put at October 1st. So if we're at October 1st and we're getting ripe fruits, uh, it's almost too late in the season at that point. Um, if I waited till let's say August 1st, well then my fruits are gonna be ripening at frost. They're going to uh, basically be, have a good chance of being hit by a frost that comes in in the fall. So for me, I wanna do this early. There's always a date, no matter where you guys live, that you should be thinking about pinching. And for me, I'm just going around, and I recommend this to most people in the Northeast of the United States, is if your trees have not formed fruits just yet, give them a pinch. Pinch off the tips. Um, because usually at this point, they have, the, uh, they have enough leaves. They should have the, um, enough leaves to get these fruits formed, and they should have the fruit buds present. And if you're going to get fruit this year, it's going to be basically now. It's really pretty much now or never, you know. So I'm going around all these trees. Here is a Ronde Bordeaux. I'm going to take off the uh, the tip off of that. And also a big tip, a big tip here <laughs> is that if you're going to be um, pinching, you're going to be touching some of the sap on these trees. I would just highly recommend that you guys wear gloves, maybe even long sleeves long pants i have wore i have gotten some sap on my feet on occasion <laughs> and uh on my ankles and that's not that's not fun so if you really want to uh protect your skin here because this the sap is toxic uh to your skin and uh some people have different reactions i have different reactions at different times of the year but overall if i don't want to get big blisters on my skin you know wear long sleeves wear gloves at the very least you come out here and you get some of that on your skin uh, don't worry you can always go inside and wash uh, your skin and I would just use water obviously but soap probably is even better uh, to get some of that off your skin now I have some branches here that are forming fruits really on their own and uh, they're pretty much gonna be forming fruits without any assistance, so I think there's really not a whole lot of benefit at this point to be pinching off these particular branches. However, I could see a situation where this is still a great idea, and I would highly recommend it, so um, because it does actually hasten the formation of the fruits, um, it is still, I think, a good idea, but, um, you know, we're trying something a little bit different this year, and I will say that it hasn't really worked out. I haven't really been all that impressed. Pinching is a big deal here in these uh, these shorter season climates that I know some of you guys are in. So, you know, take my advice here. Years now of experience that uh, these fruits, these these branches, these trees really need to be pinched for them to be uh, producing at a, a reasonable time of the year. And I will say this as well. I did some 
you know, trialing and I did some, uh, you know, different experiments this year, comparing trees that we didn't pinch to trees that we did pinch. And the difference is clear um, in terms of how long it takes for the fruits to ripen. So if I pinch, I get fruits 70 to 90 days later. And uh, if I don't pinch, after the fruit formation, I get fruits 70 to 90 days later. So by pinching, I'm essentially buying myself two or three weeks of earlier fruits, uh, which to me is a huge deal, absolutely a huge deal on a lot of these varieties. So um, you can obviously do whatever you guys want, but I promise you uh, two or three weeks is a gigantic difference in ripening dates. And uh, for me, in the future, I will just resume going back to what I've been doing for years, which is indeed pinching, and not just pinching one or two of the shoots, or half of the shoots, because we did an experiment with that, but I'm also gonna be pinching um, all of the shoots. We're gonna go across all these branches and get ourselves some fruits. Um, now, some of these trees I want to just grow, so I'm not necessarily going to worry about getting them to form as many fruits as possible, but uh, it is obviously a possibility and something we can think about is if you don't necessarily need them to grow and grow and grow, think about taking off the tip and getting them to form fruits. Um, and I'm just, again, I'm going to go across all the trees here, and if they are not forming fruits, this is the treatment they will get.